Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're looking at some Warlord Epic approximately 13mm plastic uh, Napoleonic <laughs> French old guard, uh, Grenadiers of the Guard. Uh, just the one uh, unit, four bases and a mounted uh, commander. Very enjoyable as I've said with all the, the ones that I've painted. Um, the speed wise I don't think they're just because they're all lined up, it's not going to particularly take you, make it any quicker for you. I don't think. Uh, I just, um, I just, you know, like them. Uh, I, I won't be doing any for myself. I've, as I say, I've started yet another collecting uh, project with my uh, 1806 campaign with my AB metals. But um, that's not to say I don't like these because I do. Uh, I, I think these are really nice figures. Um, they paint up well uh, and um, I'm doing a, another, these are just going to be up for sale on eBay soon and uh, I'm doing some British behind the screen uh, which I'm, no I won't bother flicking up yet, there's a couple of bits still to be done on but yeah I, I'm painting a British unit, I just started out on that and I'm painting, uh, just get one out for the client that had me paint these, what I would call proxies for for the epic range he likes these he likes the the plastic uh, infantry but he prefers the cavalry in these um, brick dust range from alternative armies used to be tabletop games i believe from the from the 1980s and i'm doing the inner skillings i believe first and then i've got uh, two mounted commanders to do at the same time with them ponsonby and oxbridge and i've also got the uh, blues uh, to be done as well so uh, something to look forward to in the next uh, few days when I do the first show and tell type of thing but for now let's go down to the bench and take a look at these epic right guys thanks for joining me at the bench uh, there'll be some photographs at the end because I've just taken them so I can put them on eBay uh, probably over the probably Sunday I'll put them up on eBay with some other odds and sods 28 mils I'm selling off so uh, uh, again I should have known this, shouldn't I? But I, I probably won't. Uh, eight, the blues are in AK range, uh, next gen, third generation colours, and they're dark sea blue with uh, Mediterranean blue, which gives it that uh, lighter colour. And sometimes I put either medium or star blue, and sometimes a, a both of them. It just depends what how I'm feeling. Uh, again, you'll get the South said this before, apart from the gourds, the can, the actual drinking bottles as you see them, I, I, I mix them up as the metal drinking bottles and the ones that are in the wicker baskets, uh, just again, to, to, because obviously there, there's not a lot of variety in the, in, the, in the look of the figures, so that just adds a bit really, not a lot, <laughs> but a bit, um, there's a back. I just put again a couple of grenades, dotted a couple of grenades on those. Um, what else? I won't show you. There's only the command stand, I suppose, and the mounted officer, really, is the other three of the same bases. Uh, before I put the chasseur à pied of the guard, old guard, in white trousers with the odd blue, uh, because when I'd read my book it said uh, they actually were in white trousers um, whereas obviously these guys were in the dark blue trousers so that's what they're all in uh, the colours are from GMB so the flag in other words uh, little tufts are just made by me I, I tried doing the static grass just applied and slightly brighter and yes it did make the figures show up more on the last unit but I just thought I'd, I do prefer the tufts look I've had a couple come adrift which you will get occasionally they are sealed on with varnish as well but I, you do get the odd one that comes adrift I don't normally like holding figures by the figure itself uh, here's our mounted commander I mean, if you wanted to go to town, you could, you know, find an extra figure and put on if you wanted to make them a bit different, you know, but uh, as in like a standing figure or something. But uh, I'm quite happy with these. 
as I say, they are for resale, so they're not. Uh, it's not something that I'm. I'm keeping myself. So there we go. Short and sweet. Not very often you can say that about my videos. So as I say, I've cut. Oh, I might as well just quickly working on these guys at the moment. Uh, I've gone overboard there, and they need. To, have I gone overboard on these ones? They said they said these ones have got to be uh, light infantry uh, or light company, I should say. So the cords will be green on these three, and the uh, um, plumes and whatever. So I've got to do that yet. Yeah. But apart from that, they're done. Gave them a more orangey look. Uh, fairly bright on the grey, just to make them stand out. But anyway, we're not really looking at those, are we? <laughs> But yeah, they're on. They're getting done on the side, on the side, just like these guys. I, I, I obviously, if I've got a commission, I concentrate on that. Um, but I do, I do do these on the side as well because uh, obviously for extra income, and I enjoy painting them. So thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, coming up on the video, I have done a bit more to the USS Lexington yesterday, and I'll probably be doing some more tonight. Uh, not that it's a big. A big uh, hitter on my uh, my channel. Uh, nobody seems to be particularly that bothered with it, but I, I, I'm loving doing it, so it's getting done. As for the one of the one of the really popular ones is the 54 millimeter airfix figure. That's only been in the doldrums because I was trying to work around doing a base and getting a base for it. Uh, I've worked that out now. I've made a little wall for it. I'm just going to make some coping stones and a couple other bits and pieces. But I will be starting to paint the horse over the weekend finally get him sorted uh, it's been lousy weather here the last few days uh, so I still haven't cut a base for the flat figure that I've painted uh, and as soon as I've done that I will uh, have a show and tell of him he's just languishing there waiting I've got so I've got another one not that I'll be painting it anytime soon but um, in fact I've got a couple other flats to show you as well uh, but um, yeah he'll be coming up soon uh, we shall have, as I've just showed you, they're all under primer at the moment, but the client's figures, I'll give you a show of those once I've painted the first few. Uh, I've got some of these guys, some Victrix 28mm Vikings. So, uh, the the um, wall, uh, the wall Games Atlantic 95th Rifles didn't get on with them whatsoever. I started putting them together. I didn't sit, the the, the Sharp figures seem to tower above everybody else, and I just, I just fell right out of love with it. Um, so they've just been put in a bag and uh, forgotten about. Uh, so I just picked out my Viking sprue that I bought at the same time, and I've just done two for the say these, this guy and this guy, and I will, uh, I'll paint, get them under primer, and uh, get those painted up as and when. And then we'll do a, a look at the sprue itself with a couple of painted figures along the side. That's the idea anyway. Right, before this gets too long. Uh, oh, I've got an unboxing to do as well of a model I've had for a while. Uh, just a ship one, 700 ship model, so that shouldn't be very popular either. <laughs> but that's going to get, that's gonna get a, a video uh, put up in the next few days. So look after yourselves. Thank you very much for stopping by and we'll speak soon on another video.